So today I would like to talk about the Half-Life 2 Episode 3 um, script, or supposed script that was released by Mark Laidlaw. And the whole thing about this is that it's a very unfortunate and sad situation. Um, it um, kind of has this effect on me because Half-Life is one of the things that got me into computers in the first place. Um, and level designing, and it generally just sparked my interest in computers, and it's very sad to see how this is all turning out. And I think something that a lot of people are upset about is the way it was presented. Um, we've been trying to get answers for like over 10 years now, and we've never actually been given a straight answer. You know, to kind of giving us the runaround, um, and there were some hints about it before, um, that it was going to be released, and, you know, episode two did leave off on a huge cliffhanger, um, so it's, it's just really in unfortunate to see, I mean, arg arguably one of the greatest games of all time, um, end like this. And I, th I think it's pretty certain that the game is never going to be released. Um, so it is upsetting. Um, but at least we have like some sort of closure. Even if it's not something that we can, you know, play. Um, as far as Valve itself. Um, I don't even know what to say about that. Um, I think they probably don't care that much about it, to be completely honest with you. But that's my little rant on this. Um, pretty upsetting, but I guess it is what it is.